Hi, welcome to the Brits of Gaming. Today we're going to be painting this guy up. But what we did in a, pre a couple of previous um, videos, I'm going to give him a good paint up now we are. So, like I built, I built, like I said, built, built him up in the last video. Um, but we're going to build it in sections because it comes apart. So like this comes out. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start to um, somehow figure out how to take it apart again. So I've got to try and get this a bloody part. Um, sorry, there's not been much videos. I've been doing a lot of um, practicing with painting um, on how to do different things. So I've been basically learning, basically. Um, fuck. Um, I'll be back to you once I've got this in pieces. There we go. Got got him in pieces. Tried, I tried not to break it, but it nearly, it nearly, did, it nearly did, did get broke. Um, is he meant to come off here? Yeah, but we're... no, I'll leave, I'll leave him for now. So yeah, we're going to start on this. We're going to do the um, actual what you want to call it, archer thing. Right. The Kilbo, Kilbo, that's the one. So the first color we're going to do, don't worry, I'm not worried about base coating it because I'm, I've been doing some testing and I've noticed um, we're going because we're going to use wire wood. Um, it go, it goes on very nicely when it comes um, without a base coat. If you, so let's get myself some tissue so I can get my paint brushes done. And then I am looking at getting myself a new mat as well because this one's a bit disgusting now. And I'm just going to go straight in and slap it on. I'm not too bothered about getting on his on his hand bit there because there is a arm tap on here still. Um, because we're gonna I'm gonna touch that up again later on. So yeah, um, I'll go and get this done now, and I'll be back to you once I've got that done. And now, that's all the wood bit done. Right, the next colour we're going to move on to is Iron Breaker. So we're going to get, um, let me just put this wild wood away, um, over there, just in case we might need it again. Um, I'm going to get myself a bit more smaller brush because this is where we're going to be doing um, some metal. Um, so we're going to get the metal parts painted up. So anywhere that you want, anywhere you can see metal, let you think that look it should be metal. Just get a paint. So we're going to do this here.
You do all these little, I don't know what you want to call these here. that bit of a paint as well and give this a coating as well Oh, and these front bits as well, I'm going to get them the same as well, the easier. So yeah, if you want to know where your metal bits are, just look at your box and you can you're about to see you about to have a seam on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the metal bits done and I will back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. Got the silver done. <clears throat> oh, no, I haven't actually. I've got to put paint this bit silver, so the bit that goes on the arrow. Just gonna give that a coat. Here we go. Two secs. Right. Um, the next colour we're going to get is we're going to get some hash hot copper. And we're going to do. We've got some very thin lines going across here. To be honest, I could do with doing this with a smaller brush actually. It's basically the cable that goes across this way. Yeah, swap out for a smaller brush. Sorry if you can hear people in the background.
to yeah, we're just gonna get this cable. There's a cable here and a cable underneath. Um. So yeah, gonna get that. Let if you can see. There's cable there that um, goes into that spool there, and then there's a cable underneath there. Um, going, we're going to get them painted up, and now we're back to you in a minute. And there we go. And that's it. Um, next colour we're going to get is some Corax White. And we're going to use this um, for the ropes. I'll get this one cable painted up and then I'll go and get the rest done after that. So yeah, I'm going to get them cables painted up like so. So I'll be back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. Alright. Let's see, you come over. Next, we're going to get some um, Afrax Earthshade, and we're going to do this for all the metal and the cables. So, for the cables, we're just going to slap it all on. Because we're going to give it. One, it's going to get into all the recesses, and two, it's going to make it look dirty. So yeah, I'm going to go get that done and I'll be back to you in a minute. And there we go. Right, we're now going to move on to this guy. So, first colour we're going to use is Rhinox Hide. Um, so we're going to base coat his levers. And there's not much of it anyway. So we're gonna base coat that there. Like so. <laughs> so I'm just going to get all the levers done and I'll be back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. Next, we're going to move on to painting 
his skin, the skin on that guy, skin on that guy, ow, shit, again, sorry, and the hand on there. We're going to use scar skin green. All right, give it a good shake. We're just going to go straight across and get it all done. And if you do get on the, um, on the brown, don't worry, just repaint it over again once you're done. Don't, and don't worry about it being too bright in a minute, there is uh, another step that I'm going to do after. Get this bit done, yeah. Right, I'm going to, going to get the, I'm going to get all the rest done, and I'll back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. All the, all the green is done. Before we go on to the next colour, I'm going to use some Black Legion. And I'm going to go around and minus him, because we're going to do him, his cloak, his, that, this here, different colour. And we're going to go around getting all these little orc guys here, their, cl their clothes, all painted up in Black Legion. So what we're going to do is get when I get this open. Don't worry if you get it on the green because we can touch that bit up. So you might have to go over it a second time. You might have to, but depending on how thick you put it on. Um, look, I, I'm, I'll, and I'll go get this done and I'll be back to you once I've got this done. There we go. Right, the next colour we're going to get is, give it a good shake a minute, two secs, sorry. Um, this is for the, this is good to go back over the Black Legion with. Um, 
I can't pronounce that, Connor, but it's green. Yeah, I know it's, it says green at the end. And we're going to go, go do the same thing again, what we did with the um, Black Legion, but we're going to go do it with this, go straight over the black, over straight over top. And what this is going to do when it dries, it's going to add a tinge to the black. You see, it's just been plain all black. Yeah, and we're back to you once I've got this done. And there we go. As you can see, as you can see, look, it adds a, a blue tinge to the black. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's come up on camera properly. But yeah, um, the next colour we're going to do is we're going to go and coat all the green in play, play that, that colour. Alright, I'll change this brush and put that away. Grab that one. And what we're going to do is just going to go straight over all the green. Be very generous with this because you want to try and get it in all the recesses of the skin. What this is going to do is going to get into all the recesses of the skin and um, pop, bring out some of the um, detail of the skin. But and plus it makes it darker to the, the skin's not so uniform with one colour. So I'll be back here once I've got all that done. And there we go. Right, next colour we're going to get is some snake bite leather. And as you notice, I'm not been putting any base coats down um, because I'm trying to keep it dull and dark best as I can. And I've tested the snake back leather straight on as it is um, with plastic and it was good. So what we're going to do is go um, on the arrow bag. We're just going to go straight over. This is where I've got to be careful now because obviously we don't want to get it all over that green. 
But if I, if you do, just go back, just go back over the colours that you did on previous time, um, previous time. Like so. Like that. Well, it's good. I'll be back in a minute. It's going to get it dry. If you do need to do, do a second coat. And I'll be back to you in a minute. There we go. Right. Next colour we're going to move back on to is Iron Breaker. And we're going to use this for every single metal bit that you can find that you want to paint. I'm going to be painting up that. On there, um, his chest plate on there, his he his helmet, and da um, down there and down there, I think. Hang on, two secs. Yeah, down there. Um, paint up his little hammers up as well. So anything that anything metal there. So basically, I'm going to go around and paint all that up. So, I'm going to get some of this. And we're just going to slap it straight on. Anywhere that you can see metal, metal bits, plates, or anything like that you want painting up, we're going to paint it up in that. Or if, you want, if you've got a different colour you could use for your metal, you can. Like that. And if you want, you could actually use um, lead belcher, which I actually might use that for his back of his plate of his armor. His armor. So it's not a u um, uniform color. So yeah, I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna get all the metal bits done, and I'll be back to you once I got that done. And there we go. I've gone around and all the, oh, I've got all the metal bit done. Right, the next colour we're going to get, well, it's a, sh um, a shade, is Athrax Earthshade. And we're going to go all over the metal that we just painted. Because we, obviously the metal on our knees ain't going to be pristine. So we're just going to go around. Give it a dirty look.
forms is appropriate for you. We would scan of the actual pad that our house is currently stands on, and we would say, if only we could get the house built right here. We have a nice back patio and a beautiful pool. Yeah. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to get all the metal um, uh, um, earth shade and then I'll be back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get, um, um, what do you call it, we're going to dry brush some iron hand steel. So we're going to get some of this, um, I'm just going to use a random brush because I don't want it overly done. So, so I'm going to get some of my brush, let's move these out of the way, and then, what's the for you? No. And then, just going to get on the bristles, a bit too much on there, there we go, and then we're just going to go straight and chuck it over let's just get some bit more on there I'm only, going, I'm only going to do this to his armour, I'm not doing it on anything else, just his, just here. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Um, but as you see, I, you did the same way, I definitely just did it. Um, next colour we're going to move on to is, um, give it a good shake first. Um, blood angels red and we're gonna we're gonna use that to paint, paint we're gonna paint this here Actually, let me swap this brush because this brush is shit. Um, oh, so is that one? God, I gotta get some new brushes. I'm so sorry about this. And then we're just going to go straight over in this red. I do, like, um, do apologise if I've had no videos out um, frequently. Um, I've, been I've been doing a lot of stuff with family, getting family issues sorted out. Um, been learnt and plus um, learning new tricks and tips on how I can paint and stuff, so I can try and get my videos out, be uh, videos better, um, my painting better. Um, and overall, just better myself.
So yeah, I'm just going to get him painted up and I'll be back to you once I've got him done. And there we go. Uh, if you can see. Right, the next colour we're going to do, we're going to get the robes, the robes done and we're going to use Monfang Brown. And we're going to, he's, he's got his robe here. And then he's got uh, this, he's got this one here coming out of his helmet here. So we need to get both of them done. So we're going to get all this done. So yeah, I'm going to go around and I'm going to get all the brown done. All over for every, and everything. So I'll be back to you once I've got that bit done. And there we go. Right, we're going to move back on to some um, the metal again. So we're going to use some iron hand steel, and we're going to go around and um, finish painting up the rest of the steel on him. So you got, he's got his plates here. Oh, I forgot to say as well, I've painted the bottom of it here green um, in the in the uh, fresh colour. I forgot to do that on um last I forgot to do that not only, I forgot to do that when I did this skin. Trying to get this done um, as soon as possible because I am going out soon. So yeah, I'll be back to you once I've got all the metal bits done. And there we go. Right, next we're going to get is we're going to go back to snake bark leather, and we're going to get um, your, we're going to get the little pouch done, the handles done on the um, axe and stuff, and it's got some little things holding these. Um, you'll see um, underneath here. You got these here. There's some little tabs underneath there. Needs doing, which I've just covered up now. And then there's this here. Uh, and then we're just going to paint these handles here.
Yep, and then we're going to get the little pouch done here. Like so. All right, I'm just going to go and draw that and I'll be back to you once I've got that bit done. And there we go. That, that's that one done. <clears throat> now we're going to move on to the tips of these. Um, all I'm going to do is we're going to go over it with Black Legion. We are going to do another step after once it's dry. So we're just going to go get the Black Legion and we're just going to go straight over. There we go. So what I'm going to do is going to go around and get and get the rest done, and I'll be back to you once I've got that done. Oh shit, wrong one. Where is he? There we go. And there we go. He's finished. That's finished. Well, we ain't finished with that yet. We've still got a bit more. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to get some iron hand steel, and we're going to dry brush some iron hand still into it but only onto the actual tips oh oh I forgot to say while I was painting these up my wife has decided she wants to paint the base so I won't be putting the base up on here but there will be at the end of the end of the video I'll do a little video or picture of them of it done finished all together um, so I do apologize if you want to see the base being done but she's born and she's took it and she wants to paint it and I said, yeah, I don't mind her painting it because she's not, she's a really good painter as well. So she, she's going to do that. So like I said, I'll put a video, a little tiny video at the end of it being done. She's took some of my stuff and going to do it. But yeah, pardon me. Well, that's that one done. I'll just give that a bit of a dry minute. And then we're going to get this one, do the same thing again. And then we're going to just going to go straight down that. Prepare I like to go down, like uh, that, and that, there we go. Very quick and easy step, but very effective. So 
So that's that done. Right, until I get the base back, um, that is these done. Let me just take you off here a minute. So that is these all painted up and ready. So I'm just waiting for the base to come back and, and then I'm done. Um, oh yeah, let me just move this out of the way. I've gone and brought some Sandy Desert um, Dow Armour stuff. Um, some asphalt. Um, some muddy puddles. And te technical Valhallian bl Blizzard. So I've got all that. Um, I'm working on some more dioramas to build. <clears throat> oh, and got some powder stuff so I can actually make stuff dirty. Um, but yeah, I am working on some dioramas to try to teach myself. And hopefully they will be coming into the channel very soon um, of me doing some dioramas. So yeah. Um, at the end of this video, there will be a little video at the end of this all completely finished and done. I hope you enjoy the look of that. My wife did that and she's done very good, very good with that. Um, so yeah, if you like these videos, please give a, um, a like and subscribe, and um, I will get on to the next videos coming. Come next ones are coming is, I've got, there, I've got a build and a paint of them. Um, same with that. I've got a build and paint of that, and then, and then I've got all, and then a paint of them. So please keep an eye out for them. They will be. They are coming um, very soon. I am getting on top of everything. Um, and so yeah, I'm doing a lot of practicing. So I need, and that's come from the same kit. That's not from that kit, but it's from an older kit. Um, and that's the look I'm looking for, looking to get. So yeah. So thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.